Hi, welcome back to another episode where we uncover the unethical business practices of some of the world's largest brands and companies. In this video, we're going to look at a few of the shady business practices of the official 2024 Olympic sponsors. 15 brands hold the highest level of Olympic sponsorship, giving a select few exposure and advertising rights that few companies could dream of. These main sponsors collectively provide around 30% of the game's revenue. While the Olympics are obviously about sports, they also carry some sort of notion of international cooperation, with organizers seeing the games as a way to create a peaceful and better world. Yet the main sponsor's business conduct doesn't embody this notion of a peaceful and better world. In April 2024, we rated all 15 of the Olympics worldwide sponsors against our tax conduct standard, which weighs up the likelihood that a company is engaging in tax avoidance. Every single brand received zero marks out of a possible 100. In this video, we'll delve into the world of tax avoidance, shed light on the main sponsor's questionable tax conduct, explore other areas of unethical behavior, and look at what we as consumers can do about it. Ready, set, let's go. <laughs> The Olympic Games celebrates athleticism and cooperation. However, behind the scenes, the main sponsors are engaging in business practices that contradict that spirit. There are many Olympic sponsors, but the main 15 worldwide sponsors, ABMBev, Airbnb, Alibaba, Allianz, Atos, Bridgestone, Coca-Cola, Deloitte, Intel, Omega, Panasonic, PG, Samsung, Toyota, and Visa, all received zero points for tax conduct when we researched them in April this year. Tax avoidance is a practice where companies exploit legal loopholes and strategies to minimize their tax obligations. Fair tax contributions play a crucial role in building a peaceful and better world by providing governments with the necessary income to support infrastructure and social programs such as schools and hospitals. Unfortunately, the Tax Justice Network estimates that the world loses trillions of dollars to tax havens denying governments the resources they need. Despite their global reach and influence, all of these Olympic sponsors have failed to prioritize fair tax practices as they operate in tax havens and don't provide any assurance that these aren't used to shift profits. There's a high risk that these brands could be contributing to the loss of public funds that could benefit communities around the world. AB and Bev, who owns brands such as Stella, Budweiser, and Corona, operates in numerous tax havens across the world. AB and Bev was also one of 39 firms targeted by an EU tax investigation in 2019. Airbnb operates in three tax havens and was ordered in 2023 to pay 576 million euros in a tax dispute in Italy adding to a previous 2020 HMRC investigation, which saw it pay out 1.8 million pounds. Coca-Cola also operates in numerous tax havens across the world, and in 2020 was ruled by a US court to have improperly shifted profits abroad. Financial services company Deloitte operates in these tax havens and was one of four accounting firms named in a 2022 OECD study as regarded by tax officials to be trying to exploit loopholes in laws to help clients. Intel operates in these 14 tax havens and was listed in a 2023 analysis by the Portland Business Journal, which stated that the previous year, the company paid no taxes in Oregon, where it's a major employer. Panasonic operates across the world in these tax havens. In 2022, the Economic Times India website said that India's tax department had accused the company of trying to merge a loss-making and a profit-making subsidiary together in order to avoid tax payments. Samsung operates in these tax havens, and Samsung India was issued a government notice around a tax dispute in 2023 after a media report accused it of avoiding $212 million worth of import duties. Samsung said the dispute involved interpretation of the law. 
Toyota operates in these eight tax havens, and after years of appeals, it was in 2020 ordered by the Thai Supreme Court of Justice to pay a settlement over insufficient historic tax payments. So far, we've only looked at the 15 main sponsors, but there are over 70 brand sponsors in total. Let's explore some of the wider controversies that have attracted criticism. Three sponsors, Airbnb, French retailer Carrefour and Intel have been condemned by human rights campaigners for their complicity in Israel's repression of Palestinians. Find out more about Palestine boycott targets in our previous video. 10 companies to boycott over their links to Israeli apartheid. You can find a link here. Coca-Cola, a repeat offender, has been named the world's number one plastic polluter. Steelmaker Asla Mittal has been linked to greenwashing and Procter & Gamble has been criticized for deforestation in its palm oil supply chain. Luxury brand LVMH, which owns Louis Vuitton and Dior, has been exposed of buying from an Indonesian supplier that skinned snakes, likely while they were still conscious. Pharmaceutical company Sanofi conducts testing on hundreds of thousands of animals and Danone's dairy products are not sourced from free-range or organic farms. That means it's probably a big user of factory farming. It's clear that the main sponsors of the Paris 2024 Olympics have fallen short in multiple ethical areas, including tax conduct and their impact on the environment and animal welfare. As spectators of the games, we should question whether such practices align with the values the Olympics supposedly aim to promote. So, what do you think? Will you stop shopping with these brands? And are you going to watch the Olympics? Let us know in the comments. If you want to stay informed about ethical issues, then join our mailing list. Follow this link and sign up for our weekly newsletter. You'll also receive a free digital copy of the Ethical Consumer magazine. Join our online community and stay up to date with the latest ethical news. Discover sustainable brands and make informed choices that align with your values. If you found this video interesting, please hit the like button and let us know in the comments. And subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to keep up to date with the latest ethical consumer videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.